So in a world of infinite possibilities, you know, I believe that a big part of uh, how you find that edifying content is curation, right? And so, Mm -hmm. you know, you get thought leaders, you get people out there that you trust, trusted voices, people you can relate to that often is how we curate or self curate content. Um, what, what is the role of artificial intelligence in the future of content curation? Can that help? Uh, can it be manipulated? Like what's the, what's the balance? That's a great question. I, I actually started my career. Um, my, my first job after my PhD program was working in an AI lab in New York city. Um, and, and for a very ennobling purpose, we were scanning uh, daily trade data off wall street to look for insider trading. I'm, I'm joking about it. <laughs> yeah. um, so the, the, for, for me, one of the great applications, uh, potential applications that I don't think we've fully realized yet, and what I, what I hope SOAR can help with, is <clears throat> um, being, a, I'll, I'll go back to the, to the example I gave in my first job. One of the reasons we were using AI in the search of daily trade data is it was just too overwhelming to try to do it as a human being. So we, we were teaching the machine how to look for what we were looking for. And so to me, that's always been a fundamental purpose of machine learning or AI is telling it, I, I want something like this and letting the machine do what it does really well of sifting through lots of junk to get to what I'm really looking for. Um, and we, we've, we've always, whenever we've dealt with AI uh, of of sifting through it to find the real pearls. So um, I I would expect that to be a a really valuable use of AI in this space of curation. Mm -hmm.